Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Easy Does It. If you clicked on this, you know we're going to be talking about Cream Milky Undertone by OOO. Um, as we always do, Richard runs us through market share. I'll do single flavor testing, and Deets will talk a little bit about application. So, Richard, do you want to kick us off with market share? Right. All right. This is quite a tricky one to determine a market share on because uh, there's an awful lot of uh, concentrates that are used for milks, even though they're not necessarily milks. I mean, you think of cereal milks, you've got things like FA Vienna Cream, FA Cream Fresh, uh, the various Bavarian creams and so on. So in determining market share, I decided to go for flavors that really just shoot for a plain milk. Uh, because that is essentially what cream milk is. It's, it's, it's a flat milk flavor. So looking first at uh, all the flavors. Um, low cream milky undertone is the most popular milk uh, flavor there with 1,379 recipes and at a percentage of an average percentage of 1.73%. The second most popular is the classic uh, TFA dairy milk, which comes in at 1176. So about 200 recipes less than the OOO. And it's also slightly weaker, it comes in at 1.91%. Thereafter, the most popular is flavor art milk, but there's a huge drop off uh, that's only used in 225 recipes. Uh, at quite a high percentage for flavor art, 1.55. So a little bit stronger than the others, but not much. Then we come to Flavor West milk at only 57 recipes and 1.94%, so much the same strength as the TFA. And then finally the Flavora milk, which is at 51 recipes and also the lowest um, average percentage of just 0.8%. Moving across to um, e-liquid recipes, obviously being a, a site that's been in operation for much longer, the concentrates have been around for much longer, enjoy much higher prominence there. And we see this with uh, TFS dairy milk taking by far and away the top slot in the milk flavors with 49,758 recipes. The OOO Cream Milky is in second place with 7,588 recipes. Nevertheless, that's still that's only about one sixth of the recipes that uh, TFA Dairy Milk has. In third place, uh, surprisingly, is the Flavor West Milk at 3,050 recipes. Uh, Flavora uh, Milk weighs in, in fourth place with 487 recipes and lagging way in the rear with hardly any. Uh, recipes and it's also spread out among various different concentrates and names. It's flavor art milk with only around 15 recipes and also split between about four different names for, for the concentrate. So quite a radical difference uh, between the two sites in terms of the market share, which are the most popular. You know, you've got the TFA vastly more popular uh, than anything else at ELR and the OOO just pipping um, TFA dairy milk at, at all the flavors. So quite a confused market, uh, different sites having different uh, concentrates leading the way, but generally OOO does well on both sides, top at ATF, second at, at ELR. So if you're just looking for a plain, uh, a plain flat milk uh, flavor, the OOO cream milky undertone is, is probably a good bet. It's what do you have to say on the application? It's, it's actually least, uh, sorry, Theo, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hundred percent right uh, with, with what you're saying there, Richard. Flat milk, I like I like the way you describe it. Um, so I tested this at one percent, two percent, and then went totally ham at four percent just to test what this is going to do. At one percent, um, what I wrote down here is sweet. Not extremely creamy, but there's some cream vibes to it or milky vibes to it. 
but uh, what, what was really nice about it, it has a nice round finish, a nice clean round finish. Um, so, you know, not so much uh, old man's breath like FA Cream Fresh, but there's a little bit of that, you know, and that's the cream there. Very, very, very smooth, but extremely subtle cream at 1%. Then bumped it up at two to two percent. That sweetness is very present. Okay, I find it very sweet. However, the creaminess is way more prominent. Um, it does uh, it does carry a little bit of weight at two percent. Um, still very smooth uh, with a lovely creamy round finish. Um, I like that at two percent. You know, this is close to I rec what I would recommend its sweet spot to be you know, is, is at about 2%. Um, then at 4%, um, a very, it had a very sweet, um, sweet edge to it. The cream note was not overwhelming or chalky, maybe just a smidge chalky. Um, I think here you start seeing flavors being muted. Um, it does bring it doesn't bring a whole lot more to the table at 4% as what you do at, at at 2%. So I think what I'm trying to say there is the sweet spot is at 2%. You're not really going to get much more out of it after that. But it's exactly what the name is. You know, it's a milky undertone. Um, and that's what I'm getting from it. What Richard is saying is correct, like a flat milk. Um, so, you know, if, if you had to, you know, if you had to go to the grocery store and buy milk, you would normally get a full cream, then you get like, uh, like a half and half or, you know, or 2% and then you would get a, um, a low fat milk. And this kind of reminds me of that low fat milk, you know what I mean? Where you get a little bit of, of the, the milkiness, but it doesn't have a lot of body to it. You know, that's the best way of describing it. Dietz, you've seen it's, this being used a little bit. What can you tell us on application? Well, pretty much everything that you and Richard have mentioned, um, it is pretty much as the name says, it is a milk and it's generally applied in mixes that is a milky mix, like a flavored strawberry milk, uh, ice creams, and also to bring in a little bit more of a liquid milkiness or thinner, thin down the milk or cream in in in, um, in ice creams so just a few of the top recipes using this at the moment on ATF the first one um, from steam on Tony's revenge frosted flakes on steroids and um, cap captain burgundy's first mate by Alfred pudding that's the second one banana milk by mr. G slow dio side by uh, Emily by ML Nikon and then one I mixed up, the first one actually why I bought the creamy milk and or cream milky undertone initially was for Serially Easy Pebbles by Crucial, which is still a pretty damn good um, cereal to me because of its simplicity and the uh, loads of flavor you get from that. And then the last one I, I'm going to mention is Lucky Charms by ID10. Now these were all applied in, um, all except for Slow Deocide were basically made for the, the the cream milk undertone was used for exactly that the milk in the recipe in the cases of the cereal it's the milk of the cereal um with the banana milk it's the milk with the banana flavor in and then the the deer side it's used in a milkshake so the the general um usage percentages is pretty much on par with what you said there on your your single flavor testing it's mostly used between 1.5 to 2.5 range. 2.5 being the max I've seen it being used. Uh, well, in, in an, I would call it a normal recipe that looks normal. 2.5 looks to be the highest that it's used in normally, but the average seems to be exactly what you mentioned as 2%. So definitely worth, worth, worth getting it if, you, if you're into milks and cereals or just generally good to have around in your, in your flavor stash. I mean, you never know when you're going to need something like that. You thin down a thicker cream or ice cream, or just to push in a milk or cereal or a Nesquik type of type of deal. Yeah, this is very. I mean, it's it's very popular in cereals. Um, I think uh, because you know the mixers generally want to show off the cereal, and they just want a little bit of milk, you know, or a milky undertone there, creamy undertone, um, and this does that extremely well. And that's what it was. What it was designed for, and you know, that's what people are using it for now. So I think in that 
in that it it was a very successful you, you know it's very successful in the market and um, you know I'm sure people are going to carry on using it especially for cereals um, so yeah I think you must get this if you're into cereals if you're into milky um, kind of vapes this is definitely one to get is there anything more that we need to add on this one well, um, the only note I, I, I can think of about this is that I've noticed it's also being used in, in combo a lot with with stuff like your ice creams or um, something like a fresh ice cream creams and then uh, the other two things was meringue and marshmallow. I've also seen with this. I would assume that use of the marshmallow would be to push in a sweetener and thicken up the milk a bit. And in the case of the meringue, very much the same, but a different type of sweetener to the profile. Yep. Cool, guys. Now, um, please remember, as I always ask, um, if there's any recipes that we didn't mention that uses this in it, leave it in the comments below. If there's any notes that we didn't talk about, leave those in the comments or any questions. We'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you again on Easy Does It next week. Cheers, guys. Cheers.